StadiumDB.com presents Euro 2028 Stadiums UK Ireland Bid Welcome! You are about to see the first part of our series in which we present stadiums of the countries bidding to host the 2028 European Championships. Today we focus on Great Britain and Ireland. There are many unique stadiums there, so we have a lot to talk about and show you in this video. But before we proceed with our presentation, we would like to ask you to subscribe, ring the bell and like this video. A comment below would also be appreciated. Thanks! So let's begin a journey through the football arenas of Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Aviva Stadium, capacity 51,700, Dublin. The arena is associated with two sports football and rugby. It is Ireland's first and only UEFA Category 4 stadium. Interestingly, in 2011 it hosted the Europa League final. Even at first glance, the unusual design catches the eye. The venue is shaped like a rounded bowl with no sharp edges. In addition, the northern part of the stadium is much lower than the rest in order not to block the sunlight from the neighboring buildings. On top of that, it was Aviva Stadium that was awarded Stadium of the Year 2010, the first edition of our annual competition. Croke Park, capacity 82,300, Dublin. We stay in Dublin for a little longer. It is time for Croke Park, home of Gaelic sports, particularly hurling and Gaelic football. Hearing these names for the first time? Take it easy. Hardly anyone outside Ireland knows them. Herling combines elements of hockey, lacrosse and baseball. Gaelic football is a sort of hybrid of football, rugby and basketball. Seems like these sports offer nothing the world hasn't known before. Being serious though, we are keeping our fingers crossed for Euro 2028 at Croke Park. Remarkably, it is the largest stadium in Ireland with a capacity of 82,300. Casement Park, capacity 34,578, Belfast. It's time to head to Northern Ireland. Casement Park is the main Gaelic sports arena in Belfast. It hosts hurling and Antrim club football matches. The facility is outdated and is due for a major redevelopment. The plan for the new stadium involves quite a few changes. First and foremost, it will include installing standard seats, which are currently scarce. Also, its capacity will increase by almost 3,000. The façade and the upper part of the stands will most likely be made largely of transparent materials to avoid blocking sunlight from the surrounding residential buildings. Hampden Park Capacity 51,866 Glasgow This time we visit Hampden Park, Scotland's national stadium in Glasgow. You can watch Queen's Park FC footballers there on a regular basis. The club currently means little in European football, but bears proudly the title of being the oldest in the country. It is thanks to this team that Hampden Park was born and wrote its history. From the inauguration in 1903 until the construction of Brazil's famous Maracana in 1950, the Glasgow-based stadium held the title of the largest in the world. Its record capacity was 183,388. So impressive! St. James's Park, capacity 52,305, Newcastle. Although St. James's Park looks as if it were made up of two different stadiums, it's difficult not to like it. The venue is far from being visually perfect, but in a way it owes its popularity to its appearance. However, St. James's Park is much more than a unique structure. The atmosphere during local Newcastle United's matches can be electrifying, and not just during games against Sunderland. The venue is a solid candidate to host some of the Euro 2028 matches. Fun fact: 
St. James's Park is the oldest stadium in the northeast of England. Its inauguration actually took place in 1880. Stadium of Light Capacity 49,000 Sunderland The Stadium of Light, Sunderland's home ground, takes its name from the lamp worn by miners. This symbolic item has even earned its own statue next to the venue. It is a tribute to miners who make up a significant part of the club's fan base. The stadium can hold as many as 49,000 spectators in its covered stands, making it the ninth largest football arena in England. What a shame that Sunderland, who play at this venue, are stuck deep below the Premier League. Who knows, maybe it's another reference to mining traditions? Jokes aside, one cannot deny the atmosphere and rich football traditions of Stadium of Light. Everton Stadium Capacity 52,888 Liverpool Everton have been associated with Goodison Park Stadium since 1892. However, that venue's days are numbered and the club is set to relocate to the Everton Stadium, currently under development. This is yet another arena that may host Euro 2028. The entire harbour front line of the Mersey, where the construction is taking place, was a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Therefore, a decision has been made that the stadium will follow the style of the port architecture. The venue will receive single, double and triple-tiered stands capable of seating more than 52,000 spectators. Again, we encourage you to like this material and leave a comment. In addition to this, we have noticed that more than 95% of our viewers are not yet subscribing to our channel. It only takes a moment and is free of charge, but it would help us a lot. We appreciate it. Etihad Stadium Capacity 53,400 Manchester Remember Aguero scoring a goal against Queen's Park Rangers in the 94th minute of the match? That goal gave Manchester City their first Premier League title. And that very same goal was scored at the Etihad Stadium. It appears that the venue is set to witness many more thrilling football battles. Of course, it remains to be seen whether Euro 2028 matches will be held there. But if they are, the Etihad Stadium will certainly do a good job. The arena currently seats 53,400, but its capacity could soon rise to more than 60,000. Old Trafford Capacity 74,310 Manchester It is the most remarkable arena I have ever seen. As a football ground, it is unrivaled in the world. These words were written in the Sporting Chronicle on the opening day of Old Trafford. A similar vibe still surrounds the home of Manchester United today. The Theatre of Dreams, as the club's legend Sir Bobby Charlton called it, is one of the most recognizable stadiums in the UK and the world. It has a seating capacity of more than 74,000 and is second in size only to Wembley as far as English football venues are concerned. Because of its history and functionality, the arena is being mentioned as one of those where Euro 2028 might take place. It would be spectacular to watch full stands of Old Trafford and Europe's best footballers on the pitch. Villa Park Capacity 50,000 Birmingham Villa Park is one of the oldest football stadiums on this list. The facility was opened in 1897 and has been used by Aston Villa Club ever since. The arena is known as one of the loudest in England. This is a good omen for Euro 2028. Renovation works are planned for the stadium, which will mainly increase its capacity, from 42,500 seats to 50,000. The refurbished Villa Park will be ready to welcome guests from all over the continent. Principality Stadium Capacity 73,931 Cardiff Principality Stadium is home to the Welsh national rugby team and an important venue for football. It hosted the Champions League and UEFA Cup finals 
as well as football matches of the 2012 Olympic Games. The capacity of the stadium is almost 74,000, making it one of the largest in the UK. Not only that, the venue's roof can be opened and closed, making it much easier for matches in challenging weather. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium Capacity 62,850 London Our list has plenty of stadiums with great historical value. This venue doesn't have it yet, as it has been in service since 2019. It's all in the hands of the Tottenham Hotspur team, who aren't currently as good at writing history as they used to be, but let's be optimistic. The facility applies some advanced technology, for example, a movable pitch surface. The stadium is also equipped with a cooling system. It maintains a pleasant temperature on hot days and helps Spurs fans soothe their nerves after home losses. Besides, there are four large screens inside the arena, making an interesting addition to the matches. London Stadium Capacity 66,000 London Any athletics fans out there? You may have watched your favorite sports at London Stadium during the 2012 Olympics. The venue was built originally for the Games, but after the event, was taken over by West Ham United. The upgrade work gave the stadium a new canopy, the largest of its kind in the world. It was also fitted with extendable lower stands that move above the athletics sections. All of this places London's Olympic Stadium among the candidates to host Euro 2028. The venue has already hosted major sporting events and can handle a similar challenge in the future. Wembley Stadium Capacity 90,000 London We stay in London to visit the last stadium on our list, Wembley. It is the temple of English football and one of London's most recognizable venues. Of course, the historic arena no longer exists. It was replaced in 2007 by a venue that still functions today, being the second largest stadium in Europe. The new Wembley caused excitement before it even opened. Few remember it, but there was a time when the workers involved in the construction were betting that the venue wouldn't be ready for its opening ceremony. Things have only got more interesting since then. The new arena has already hosted the Champions League finals in 2011 and 2013, football matches at the 2012 Olympics and seven games at Euro 2020. Wembley is not only a great story, but also a functional and modern facility. This ends our tour around the UK and Ireland's stadiums. Exceptional facilities, rich football history and people's love for the sport are just a few of the reasons why these countries beat ads up. Make sure to have your say in the comments if you would like the Euro 2028 to be hosted in these countries. Also click on the bell because that way you won't miss our next content which is already in the pipeline. Thank you and see you soon!